We are uh, back at it. We're in Lake Tahoe this time. And uh, got, <laughs> got this, got this uh, bald white guy over here, also known as Jesse. And then uh, uh, this um, other, other white guy over here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Matt. Matt's with me again. And we're in Lake Tahoe. Um, we're at a trailhead to to uh, Rubicon Peak and we're about five, six hundred feet above the lake, maybe a little more. Uh, it's about 9.30 in the morning, um, Saturday, July 13th, 2019. We are uh, about to head out on this trail and uh, it's not really a, a typical trailhead that we're used to. It's just a dead end road. Uh, there's a water tower access point um, right up this way and then right down that way this service road kind of dead ends and turns into a single track hiking trail um, but we're looking at about 1.8 miles to the summit of um, Rubicon Peak and uh, pretty steep though um, got about a 2200 foot elevation gain up to about 9200 feet from our elevation here so I think we're probably more like 6,800 feet um, starting point so um, uh, it's a beautiful day it's about 70 degrees out right now at this this level and um, uh, it's a beautiful day to be in the Lake Tahoe area so um, we'll uh, catch back up here in a little bit once we get on the trail and get going all right, so we're about 1.3 miles into to this hike. We're sharing our feelings. We're sharing our we're feelings. We're bonding. Having some over male bonding a times. <laughs> but uh, check this check this view out. So we've got Lake Tahoe below us, and right down here, I'm gonna kind of drag in my hiking stick right now. But um, oh, this is perfect. So right up there that's rubicon peak and there's a big rocky prominence out there it's like a blade of granite that just sticks out of the top of the mountain side up there the top. and uh, that's that's our destination we go. so we'll probably be trekking up on the snow pack you know, we've got some uh, uh, trail crampons that we're going to put on trail spikes so we can have some traction the, uh, the uh, you know, but that's where we're going, and uh, so far so good. It's pretty steep, but apparently the steeper sections are coming up. We've got about another 18 or 1900 feet to, to climb. So, you guys having a good time? I'm not having a blast. <laughs> All right, guys, it's about one in the afternoon. And it's a lot harder than we anticipated. We knew it was going to be difficult and hard. Um, I don't know if the GoPro could do it justice, but we're on a really steep, we're on a steep grade, and we just decided to put on our uh, trail spikes and go straight up, um, straight up the, uh, the slope here. The easier, uh, easier going for us. So. Um, more traction with these in the snow and you just kind of walk straight up. It is still a little slick, but the, but the snow melting, you get slushy, but it does offer some more uh, uh, stability, traction, control, and a um, um, little bit easier time than trying to jump over rocks and find the trail and stuff. We just have to go straight up. Uh, and we'll get to where we need to go. But uh, we are almost 9,000 feet. About, I think, 85 or 8,600 feet. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the GoPro up and focus on climbing up this slope and catch back up in top of the mountain. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> All right, guys. We, uh, we are just below the summit, the peak here. Uh, probably another couple hundred feet of elevation to gain before we get to the rocks of the peak 
and then we got to climb up the rocks to the summit. But uh, we're making it up this embankment here. Incredible what we're doing. Oh, dude. Yeah, wow, we, we, we had, we knew we'd encounter snow and steep terrain, but we didn't, didn't expect it to be like this. So um, I'm going to see if I can flip this around. Look at that. Might be able to get some of the angle there. The high angle that we're, we're hiking up. But we've got our trail spikes on. They're like mini crampons. They're helping out. The snow's somewhat slushy, so we're kind of sliding through a little bit, but we're making it. And uh, we're just below the summit. So <laughs> Jesse's uh, doing his mating calls. <laughs> no, I don't think Tiffany's up here, dude. <laughs> um, oh yeah, just setting up a setting up a hammock up here and plenty of snow, so you'd have water source. Everybody, I have a secret to tell you. My butt is gonna be very wet when I get up. Yeah. <laughs> I will not get up until the camera's off. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn it off, and so Matt can get off his butt, and we can get moving, and then we could have some lunch up at the top here and. Um, relax a little bit, enjoy the scenery, and then make our trek down. Snow. Find our way down, hopefully. <laughs> we might wind up in some ravine, but we just gotta. Yeah, we got my GPS, but we gotta retrace our steps. So. I think we'll be able to see the snow. All right. Yeah. Anyways, um, we will update next from the summit. Yeah, you don't want to get wobbly up here, bro. <laughs> Oh my word, the view is just amazing. It's so sketchy and incredible coming up here. A uh, little breezy, but not too bad. Uh, we found a, a, a lane, a line uh, to scramble up here. It's, um, it's a good class three, class two, class three. just so amazing. 360 degree view up here at 92 above Lake Tahoe and uh, couldn't ask for a better day up here. So we're going to enjoy the view, get some lunch, take some pictures and uh, uh, head on down after a little bit. So we'll um, Do a little update on the way down, a little follow up, and then uh, after we get down, we're gonna go into town and get some food, <laughs> a burger or something. So we'll catch you later.
Okay. Good we have our customary uh, apple ginger beer that we brought up to celebrate this momentous occasion. Jesse. Yeah, guys we have been hiking for about an hour and 15 or so minutes and uh, we are we are almost down we got about 800 feet of elevation to, to go down on and then um, Probably, I'd say it's less than a mile. We're still unsure of how far this uh, trail is, or the distance on this trail, because a GPS device that I have is saying that it was, um, that we've traveled like several miles. Like, when we got to the top, it was saying like four, four over four miles, almost four and a half miles one way. I know we haven't hiked that, um, but the uh, All Trails app was saying um, one way to the peak, it was like 1.8 miles. So I think we're gonna go with that, but it's, it is good. We are, they're coming down. There's where we were. <laughs> right up there, that's crazy, dude. Um, there. That's insane, guys. Right on this, the snow, that snow bank there. Wow. That's yep. crazy. And uh, now we're getting back into lower elevation here. And uh, there's um, Tahoe. Like Tahoe through the trees. Our view from the trail. Yeah, it's just. It would be great to jump in that right now. <laughs> but uh, we'll be down shortly here in about 15 or 20 minutes and then we're gonna go into Truckee and uh, go into Truckee, have a uh, burger at Marty's Cafe, some iced tea and then we go get an iced coffee for the road home. Ah, man, that's so gorgeous. Let's see if I can capture this here. Um, that is awesome. It's so beautiful, quiet. We've been literally the only ones on this trail today. Um, there's probably been about three other groups that we've run into and they've all come and gone earlier in the afternoon. We've just kind of been taking our time, um, enjoying ourselves, making a longer day out of it than we probably had planned or anticipated, but sometimes it's needed. Um, but there's the fellas coming down. But, uh, it's been great, the temperature's been phenomenal, the weather's been good. The rat. We are just about down back to the car. Just a little ways to go and that's it for Rubicon Peak. Rubicon Peak hike. That was excellent. What do you guys think? That was epic. I know it was incredible. I know it was uh strenuous and more difficult than we probably had anticipated, but right. was it worth it? Oh yeah. 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 The what's in the lifetime right here? Yeah. Whoops. Camera just got me dropped this kid. Going out. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. I tell you what, coming over that, that uh, climbing up the backside of that rock and then getting to the top and seeing the lake, uh, <laughs> that was so, so daunting and sketchy, oh, yeah. you guys. That was a. Uh, no, no, you had to. Guy. 
if you accidentally trip and knowing how exhausted we were getting up there and knowing that tripping is might be a possibility yeah it was nerve-wracking it was awesome it was uh I don't know, it was a ton of emotion, but it was worth it. Yeah, that describes it pretty good. There's some emotion to it. It's kind of um, hard to explain, but it's also it being able to just pretty much reach out and almost touch a plane. Yeah. Flying at 10,000 feet. <laughs> what was pretty cool is you, you don't see the view until you're at the top. Yeah. So you're working for something boom. you don't see until you're there. And then you make the peak and you see this incredible, this incredible view. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I think we. Well worth we, the pain. Yeah. It was uh, worth getting up there. I mean, it's it was difficult. It's tough. The snow made it hard. It took us longer to get up there than probably it normally would have. But we had to do a lot of route finding, off trail, uh, through snow. Um, so that was. Um, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, but we eventually got up there. I think trail time, it only took like two hours cumulative. But, you know, we. <laughs> I think by the time we got done on the summit and down a little ways to eat, it was like we'd been on the trail for six hours. <laughs> well, we, we'd only been moving for about two, two of that. So we spent a lot of time just hanging out and enjoying the the surrounding surroundings um we get to the top though and i think we had to sit down for a few minutes just to get our bearings and get over the the dizziness and the, the wooziness there's a lot of i don't know what what you how you describe that feeling man so i felt like so off balance up there seriously like it was like literally wanting to pull you over the edge either side <laughs> either side it felt like you're trying to get pulled over the edge yeah yeah then uh after a bit i mean it was fine I'm able to walk across the razor back of the summit there and uh take some, some pretty cool <laughs> pictures to bring back with us but that's quite the advantage up there i'd say it's probably one of the most beautiful uh beautiful hikes and like summits i've been on you guys so we had a complete view of the lake north and south all the way around um, it, the view is similar on Mount Talat but it's further south um, that's that's a beautiful view too but I don't know this one stood out a lot just getting up just I think the whole up the summit uh, prominence <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, just getting being up there um, that was crazy was crazy insane so anyways I think uh, it's a wrap dude you guys yeah we're just about uh, about to the car yeah just to, about less than a half a mile to go to the car yep. and then we're gonna call it good go go eat wash up and eat so uh it's been a good trip you guys yes sir <laughs> yeah, it's been fun all right see you later